I have a fabulous book that I recommend you read if you haven't already. And that book is called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And this book is one that I believe every human should read because it dives deep into four powerful agreements that we must make with ourselves in order to step into our personal power and live a life of true joy and peace. And over the course of the next four episodes, I'll be talking about each of these agreements in detail as a way for you to apply them into your own life. So today we'll be focusing on the first and the most important of the four agreements, which is to be impeccable with your word. And when I first read this, I wasn't quite sure what this meant until I took a deeper dive into the meaning and then everything became very clear. So let me break it down for you and begin with the flip side of what not being impeccable with your word means to help you better understand. So when someone's not being impeccable with their word, it means that they are gossiping about or speaking negatively about another person or even talking badly about themselves. Being impeccable with your word means that you speak from a loving place and from a place of integrity and truth. And when you speak from this place, you hold the power to change your life for the better and live a life of integrity, honesty, and true fulfillment. I have to say that I have been practicing this for years and it's something that I need to remind myself of every day. If you tend to be really hard on yourself, as many women are, including myself, then this agreement is one you'll want to pay close attention to moving forward. You see, when you talk harshly to yourself or about yourself to others, you're unconsciously giving off negative energy, which can become harmful. And this negative energy can run deep and it can affect you in many different ways, including leaving you feeling sad, feeling anxious, and feeling less than. And this negative self-talk can really spiral and affect the way you live your life. So it's important to begin listening to and watching what you not only say to others, but also what you say to yourself. One way to begin is to commit by saying to yourself that you will strive to be impeccable with your word from now on. Of course, this takes some time and some practice, but over time, it does get easier. Begin by simply noticing what you say to yourself and others on a daily basis. And when you catch yourself speaking or thinking negatively about yourself or others, take a moment, regroup, and think back to how you can flip the negative thoughts or the negative words into positives. Being impeccable with your word helps you stand in your integrity, speak what you truly mean. It helps you avoid senseless gossip that may be harmful, and it helps you focus on speaking from a place of truth and love. So I encourage you to embrace this first agreement, and I would love for you to scroll down and leave a comment below about what your thoughts are about being impeccable with your word. I am Lori Lander, life and personal growth coach for women, and I hope that you found value in today's episode. Wishing you a wonderful week ahead, and I look forward to seeing you back here again next week.